Hello beautiful people, today it's another exciting day and I am so happy to be your host. Today we will talk on something really really super important and I call on you to stay tuned. Today we will be talking about practice ready assessment and practice ready assessment is one of those part ways that foreign trained international medical graduates can get into the medical system and practice in medicine in Canada as a family physician. This is a really um, important part way. It is short, it is great, and um, it's a way that you can get to the door um, just directly without having to spend so much time. So we will see what exactly practice ready assessment is, and we will take the case study of British Columbia. British Columbia is one of the western provinces of Canada. It's the, the land where you have um, lesser snow. It's a very beautiful place and I encourage everyone to visit British Columbia. Um, but going nitty gritty into today's matter, it's about practice ready assessment. And so the practice ready assessment program was initially launched in British Columbia in 2015. And um, the program was for internationally trained family physicians who completed their residency in family medicine outside of Canada. And this program was meant to help them to get into practicing medicine as an alternative pathway to getting the license in British Columbia. So jurisdictions that are approved or that, are, or that their training is accepted for this program will be one, the United States of America. So graduates out of family medicine from the U.S. who have been trained and who have been accredited by the Accreditation Council of Graduate Medical Education are also, you know, diplomats of the American Board of Family Medicine. So all these people who, who qualify to fall into these categories are all free to sit for the practice ready assessment exams and then practice directly as a family physician. So also physicians from Australia, graduates of Australian general practice, you know, vocational training programs that have that accreditation in Australia from the Australian Medical Council, they meet the standard. And those that meet the standard of the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners, they can just you know get into the system. Even those who hold the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners are eligible to get in through the practice ready assessment. So these are very easy um, programs, um, short and alternative part ways for physicians who have left from these countries and are willing to settle and practice in Canada. You don't need to go through the training process again, um, which would take about three years. You don't need to go through that. You just need to take these exams and you're ready for practice. And the next location is gonna be Ireland. So graduates who are from some vocational training schemes in Ireland, um, such as those who are accredited by the Irish College of General Practitioners and those who are also members of the Irish College of General Practitioners, they are ready and can go through the practice ready assessment part way and they can practice as a general physician um, in Canada. The United Kingdom is also one beautiful country. We know the relationship that United Kingdom has with um, Canada um, and so graduates of any vocational training program from there can practice here, especially those that hold, you know, accreditations given by the General Medical Council and also those who meet the Royal College of General Practitioners and those who are members of the Royal College of General Practitioners in the United Kingdom can practice in Canada without having to go through the whole process. So next is pre-screening requirements. What are the eligible documents that we need to provide? So the first and the most important is a successful completion of medical degree issued by a school that's listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools. We must be a graduate from one of these schools and also two years of postgraduate training um, internationally in a recognized jurisdiction, you know, that led to the recognition um, or led to you obtaining the certificate as a family physician in that jurisdiction. So you need to show that uh, you've had at least two years of postgraduate training. 
The next thing you need to do is to demonstrate completion of seven core rotations. You have to show that you've done, you know, seven core rotations in the major field. So in internal medicine, in general surgery, in obstetric, gynecology, pediatrics, psychiatry and emergency medicine you have to have completed um, you know a minimum of four weeks in this postgraduate training program if not you do not qualify and a minimum of eight weeks of postgraduate training in family medicine as well so for the junior specialties you need to have at least um, have had all these seven core rotations and you need to have spent at least four weeks that's a month in each of them and a minimum of eight weeks in postgraduate training in family medicine and then point number four is you need evidence of having completed a minimum of two years you know discipline specific time in independent practice as a family practitioner or other in other jurisdictions so you need to show that although you've graduated as you train and you've graduated you need to have also practiced medicine as a general practitioner in other jurisdiction for at least two years and the next thing is academic credential verification of medical degree, passports, medical license and registration, and postgraduate training letters um, that confirms completion of the seven core rotation through physiciansapply.ca. So your physiciansapply.ca account is the number one account that most internationally trained medical doctors usually will create once they're in Canada because it's through this platform that you would get your certificates um, evaluated you would get your passport and your medical license um, and all these official documents you know confirm and benchmark canadian level and then the next thing is currency in practice is really important um, and if you see currency in practice according to section 2 um, dash 8 of the college of physicians and surgeons of british columbia bylaw um, we must show evidence of being in recent practice for the last 960 hours or 24 weeks, that's two years of clinical practice as a family practitioner in the immediate preceding three years. So you shouldn't have been that person who has not been practicing medicine for the past three years and you've not been doing anything related to medicine for the past three years. So you need to have been practicing for the past two years and you don't need to um, have spent lots of time out of practice. And then you need to provide a current CV that fully explains all activities, professional or otherwise, if you've been doing anything, say you've been a med partner or you've been doing other stuff or took time off, you need to be able to show that. And also you need to have English language proficiency. You need to have a good Canadian bench um, score English language proficiency. And the links are all in the description box in terms of what you need. And you need to successfully pass the Medical Council of Canada qualifying exams part one. This is really important. It's, it's a science exam. His medicine is based on clinical practice. And there's been changes that recently occur at, as of the time of recording of this video in 2023. And this is really important. So if you meet all these requirements, then I'm going to put the link in the description box. You can send an email just to get more information at uh, prabc.ca, which is the website where you can get it. Or you can email info at uh, propbc.ca and you will get all this information. This is really important. So um, I'm going to put the link in the description for other um, provinces as well. You can check out and check out their requirements. And if you're really interested and this fits um, you or your current situations, please go ahead and apply for it. Stay tuned. If this video has been useful for you, please like and share, subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.